$150 million Chicago Land Speedway, where the Tropicana 400, before a packed house of 75,000, is down to its final 35 laps. There is drama being played out on pit road as strategies employed by different crews have set up what could be a dramatic finish. First next weekend, Bud Pole qualifying from New Hampshire, Friday at 2 Eastern time, Saturday final practice, and the NASCAR Busch Series race from St. Louis, both on TNT. Then a week from today, the New England 300 on TNT at 1.30 Eastern time. Let's check on some of those pit road twists and turns. Bill Weber. Well, Robbie Loomis is about to call the green flag for Jeff Gordon up here on top of the crash cart, so he's going to watch these cars come through three and four. This crew right now very confident about their ability to get back to the front. They've made some changes because the car has been a little tight, but now we're going to see if Gordon can weave his way through traffic and catch some of those guys that didn't stop. This is the best vantage point for Robbie to see the green flag. They're almost directly across from the starter stand. He'll call the green flag for Gordon as they go back to racing. Gordon running in eighth position. Bill Elliott in front of him in seventh. Then Kevin Harvick and Jimmy Spencer in sixth and fifth. They've been the dominant drivers. They're caught back in traffic. Go, Jeff. Go, go, go. I don't understand why Jimmy Spencer was not right up on the back bumper of Robert Presley. He had a problem with the restart earlier, I noticed, too. He lost a lot of ground. I don't know if he's having trouble getting up to speed with that car. I mean, he has gotten hurt on restarts. Let's go to Dave Burns. Alan, I just spoke with Ryan Pemberton, the crew chief for Robert Presley, and they are right on schedule. They stayed out. They last pitted on lap 199 as he dices with Jason Leffler. They came in on lap 199 and topped off with fuel. And Ryan says that's pretty close. They think they can make it. Actually, they know they can make it. These caution laps really helped. But the car is not handling ideal. What they do have go going in their favor is track position. And so staying out, he went from 22nd and the last fuel run to a fourth place running position now. Yeah, he's up to second up to now. Second, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Presley by Matt Kenseth, by Kurt Busch. He's running in second. him Kevin Harvick getting a little antsy white car bottom of the screen he took it all the way onto the apron at the start finish line to get by a couple of lap cars Robert's looking in the mirror at all his friends Kevin's looking out of the windshield at all his enemies want to get past those lap guys so you can get a clean racetrack to run down the guy in front of you Harvick has gotten by Jimmy Spencer remember Spencer beat him off pit road the last time they stopped Harvick's by him now here comes Gordon up to challenge Spencer and that's going to be for sixth Watch all these cars. Jeremy Mayfield is very slow. He's still on the speedway, but has slowed down considerably. And in fact, NASCAR has just asked the team to bring the car in. He's not meeting the minimum speed. I'll tell you what, Mark Martin might be, might be looking pretty good if these cars up here will hold the 29 car up a little bit. If Kurt Busch, Robert Presley, if they make it difficult for the 29 car to get by, maybe, just maybe, Mark will be okay. Third spot, Harvick, Presson, Kurt Busch. Didn't have any trouble there, did he? While you were saying and thinking how good Martin was looking, I was thinking how good Harvick was looking. He's had the best car all day, and I know, you know, yeah, okay, I said it now if you made the pass, but he's had the best car all day, and he's got plenty of time. He's got 29 laps to go. Oh, he's got a lot of time to get by. Marty? And remember earlier in the race, Kevin Harvick told Richard Childress we're better in traffic than anyone. Richard Childress on the radio right now preaching patience. Question is, does the rookie have enough patience to win this race? He clearly has the best car. Second place. Elena looking on. Kevin's wife. Man, oh man, these guys didn't even slow him down. How busy is Kevin Harvick since he's gone to the double duty? They got married in Las Vegas on race weekend in Las Vegas. It's about the only time they could work it into the schedule. That's terrible when you can't get time off, enough time off to get married. But you got to do it while you're working. You work during the day and do it at night. Eight-tenths of a second, Mark Martin to Kevin Harvick. 
I won't go there, Benny. Right. Well, you open yourself up on that one. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna hear about that for a while. <laughs> Getting married at night. Yeah, there you go. We know what you meant. Right, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> Mark Martin's looking back, but that that white is getting closer and closer and closer. Speeds at the line. Fastest car on the racetrack. The man chasing the leader. That's a real shock, isn't it? By a bunch. He gained a half a second that lap on Mark. He was eight tenths behind. He was three tenths behind. He's not anymore. And I would be surprised if Mark even can test this with Harvick once he gets right, right up on him. No, he just moved over and said, all right, Kevin, go ahead. There's nothing I can do about it. That's a good thing about Mark, racing with Mark. I mean, you know, Mark's one of the smoothest drivers out there. But if you're coming up on him quick and you've got a better car, he's going to give you plenty of room. And when he does that for you as a driver, you're going to re return the favor. Just hang with him, buddy. Nothing from behind. Just hang with that 29. Mark Martin's communications. That's right. Just hang with that 29. You'll be okay. Hey, if you keep up that 29, trust me, Mark, you'll be okay. Johnny Benson's on pit road. Car sounding quite sour the last seven, eight laps of the race. Matter of fact, since we went back to green a minute ago. There's Benson. Pulling tape off the front. Maybe they've put the engine there, too. Behind Harvick and Martin, you've got Robert Presley, Kurt Busch, and Matt Kenseth. So Roush has got cars. Uh, Jeff Green's off the pace. Caution is out. Something got a spin on the back straightaway. Looks like Todd again. Todd Bodine. Caution of the race. And this is the only guy that's on the lead lap that can afford to stop. All the rest of them just can't give up track position. Right now we have 2019 cars on the lead lap, so you cannot stop because you give up so much track position. If you can make it the rest of the way, you just got to hang out there. If I'm one of these guys like uh, Joni Macek, who's back in 14th, or Rusty Wallace, who's back in 16th, I've got nothing to lose by coming in and putting tires on. I, I agree with you, Alan. If I'm sitting right now in 8th or ninth spot, I'm coming in for new tires. Really? Yes, I am. I think it'd have to be 12th or worse to come in. I think the top 12, at least, will stay on the speedway. We'll see how it shakes out. We saw Jeff Green off the pace in the 30 car. Bill Weber, what happened? Well, it's pretty simple, Alan. Uh, Jeff just radioed in, blew up. Nothing we can do about it. Meet you in the garage. They told him, great run. We'll do it again sometime. Jeff Green finished for the afternoon. And just a brief note on some of these other guys. They're talking about how their speeds are getting quicker. They're longer. They're out there on these tires. So keep that in mind. Well, Benny, it looks like nobody's coming in. <laughs> yeah. Well, here comes Nemechek. Nemechek, who was running 14th. And Elliot, Elliot Sadler's coming in. Other two guys are not on the lead lap that are following them down pit road. That would be, well, Todd Bodine is going to come in. Matt? Joe Nemechek is going to make a four-tire pit stop. Remember, the stop before, they only took on less. They are going to make a chassis adjustment to the 33 machine. Since they were 14th, they knew they were going to have to restart at the back, so they figured if you're going to be in the back, have four fresh tires to try to give it a shot. Party. Elliot Sadler is in. They've gambled a couple of times today. They are tight. They're going to make a track bar adjustment. They are going to take four tires and why not? They were one of the last cars on the lead lap. As Alan said, really nothing to lose here for Elliot Sadler and his team. And Todd Bodine getting four tires as well after the spin down the back stretch. 22 laps to go. Can anybody get, do, get up there and do anything with Kevin Harvick? our final commercial break. We're back for the finish of the Tropicana 400 in a minute. <laughs> 